Okay, let's move on and talk about this ground offensive that's being prepared by Israel. Uh, you know, it seems that these preparations as they're underway or uh, during mass evacuations in Gaza, uh, the news is coming that Israel is amassing troops at the border. Uh, the potential humanitarian consequences remain grim, however, and Israel's options are limited as world leaders continue to negotiate. Uh, the crisis. Until last Friday, Israel had bombed Gazan enclaves 6,000 times. Israel says that its top priority is to target Hamas leaders and focus on its secret tunnels. But the challenge of navigating an urban war remains real, even though Israeli troops are far more advanced and sophisticated. A ground invasion won't be easy. Gaza is densely populated filled with hideouts and booby traps, civilians being used as human shields. How will Israel distinguish between civilians and militants? Can it raise Gaza to the ground? Could it weaken international support? Can Hamas be eliminated? It has regional support after all. There is also the question of the 199 hostages and their fate. The Israeli government is under pressure to save as many lives as possible. What happens to the two-state solution? That's the ultimate question, isn't it? All of this comes on the back of a massive military deployment in southern Israel. Israel, which has the superpower backing it, has called up to 460,000 reserve forces, adding to its 170,000 strong standing army. Hamas has a tenth of Israeli forces with nearly 16,000 armed militants who are expected to fight off Israeli forces. And another 6,000 Islamic Jihad militants are expected to join in. Moreover, they neither have the tanks nor the air power that is available to Israel. There is a possibility that the offensive could evoke a sharp reaction from Iran and its so-called axis of resistance, Syria, Lebanon, and Yemen, as well as Arab countries. Arab League and African Union chiefs have warned Israel that a Gaza invasion could lead to what they call a genocide of unprecedented proportions if Israel does in fact, carry out a ground offensive against Gaza. There is a possibility that the country will have to fight a two-front war, one in the north as well. A senior leader of the Iran-backed Hezbollah militant group has warned that it is quote-unquote fully ready to join the conflict, raising the specter of a second front opening with a far more potent adversary along Israel's northern border with Lebanon. So if the ground offensive is imminent, the near certain reality is that it will be bloody, and it is possible that international political support for Israel might start to wither as more Palestinian civilians are killed or remain trapped without shelter, food, or electricity.